good morning guys welcome to today's video i just had to add a sweater underneath my shirt i had to layer up you guys it is freezing it's freezing in here do you feel cold do you feel cold do you feel cold uh no I'm do you feel hot. cold no you look really pale though we all well, not I'm working all day he's been working all day okay so anyway something yeah. happened at Sam just went to the grocery store and something happened and it was really funny and he came home and it's funny because Sam's a shy guy. Yeah. Sam is a shy guy. So it's not, it's so he's not usually comfortable. He's not as comfortable with other people as I am. So um, he's going to tell you the story. Looking at my phone, trying to figure out what I can make with sausage meat. Right? Is that what you do at the grocery store? Uh, I was thinking what we're going to have for supper is I'm thinking, what can I make? So, and then this woman comes up to me and says, Hi, I know you. And I said, do you? <laughs> and I was thinking, no, I don't think I recognize you. And I said, I, I don't know. And she's like, wait, I remember now, YouTube, right? And I'm like, yep, YouTube. <laughs> and then she's like, oh, well, you tell your wonderful family that there's a young six-year-old that loves your channel. Aww. <laughs> I think she meant herself. Aww. She made herself six years old. Oh, so she's an older woman, <laughs> yeah. but she said her inner six-year-old loves our channel. Yeah, yeah. Aww. So were you uncomfortable? Uh, no. Aww, that's good. I'm so proud of you. You've learned. He's been learning because so many people have like come up to him and stuff. But anyway, that was just funny that he came home and he told me that story because we don't usually ever see people that know us locally or at least they don't ever come up and talk to us. And when they do, it's usually me and Sophie and Gabby there and usually Sophie and I kind of take the lead. It's never Gabby and Sam because they're just quiet. And so it's just funny to me that he handled that all on his own and he did such a good job. Anyway, welcome back to today's video. We're just getting ready to head out. I have some Christmassy stuff I have to do. It's just the way that it is. It is the time of year, you guys. So we're sitting in the middle of the parking lot. I had to mail some Christmas cards out and then Sam is ordering Christmas presents. We're just sitting here in the parking lot ordering Christmas presents for our kids because yeah, that's what you do. You don't want to do it at home. It's so hard for us to buy things for Gabby. If you guys have suggestions, please comment them below because honestly, she's so hard to buy for. She's like, she's just an easygoing kid. She's such an easygoing kid. She doesn't care if she has like what we buy her. She doesn't care about presents. She doesn't care about like, she just wants to be happy and have her horse and do her own thing. And she's happy inside herself which is such a good thing and so amazing and she doesn't need things to be happy and we're always like Gabby what do you want for Christmas and she's like I don't really know like she just doesn't want anything and it happens every year it's so frustrating tell me there are other kids like that out there I know a couple of my boys were like that a couple of my boys were like Sophie that they always could find things that they liked and they wanted and some of them just it was hard for them to figure things out so I'm gonna take her shopping maybe tomorrow and let her pick some stuff, but oh, but trying to buy presents for Gabby has been so frustrating. Interesting. Chocolate houses. Chocolate houses. Are they necessary? Well, the girls will have to share with me after. <laughs> Walmart sells Justice clothes now, and I love these clothes, and I want to get some for Brooklyn. I'm just not exactly sure what I want to get for her. But that's super cute and fuzzy and warm. But these are cute too. So, you guys know, I've told you a million times, I always buy my grandkids something they want, something they need, something to wear, and something to read. So, today, I went to try and get books for the kids. I ended up getting this book for Jacob, Crazy for Hockey. It's five all-star stories. I always read the books, like, read a little bit of the story to see if it's something that they would like. And it's really, it's like, he's really into hockey, and it's hockey stories. So, I know that he'll like it, and if he can't read it, his dad will read it to him. Mark and Gabby are my readers in my family. So my oldest son and my oldest daughter both got my reading gene. I love reading. And so they, he reads to his kids all the time. So for Brooklyn, I got, Brooklyn is hard because she reads and reads and reads and reads, but she reads like graphic novels and I hate graphic novels. <laughs> she reads other things too, but it's hard to buy graphic novel, novels and stuff for her. She read Comic like, books. yeah, but, their actual novels. There was one graphic novel in there I almost bought. It was $40 for a comic book. 40, 40 bucks. Mm -hmm. But I would have bought it if I thought that she was like really into it. 
I didn't want to waste $40 on a book that I don't know if she'll like. So I ended up getting her The Christmas Pig by J.K. Rowling and I, by J.K. Rowling, and I don't even know if she will like it. I read some of it. It seems really good. Like, I want to read it. But, um, she loves she loves Harry Potter and all that stuff, so um, I'm hopefully she'll love this book. She can obviously read it herself. And then for the baby grandkids, I bought just this uh, Fast and Slow book. It's got animals in it. I bought for Aria. And I got this one for Jack, baby Jack. You guys remember baby Jack? He's so cute. Oh man, he is the sweetest kid. Um, and it's about like taking turns and you can see that one penguin there has a grouchy face. But yeah, they're penguins in that one. It's a whole series of chicken soup for the soul babies. So just like stories that teach them about how to be kind. And then I told you guys that I love the um, Justice line of clothes. Our kids used to, to wear that. Then they went out of business. And now Walmart started to sell Justice. So I bought um, Brooklyn these pants, these Justice pants. And then I got her a hoodie that's super bright and colorful. colorful to go with it because it's got the black on the around this and then the black pants so I bought her that so I'm uh, mostly done with for the grandkids the grandkids are like the hardest ones to get so when I buy them something they want and something they need something they need is almost always like another toy because they're at that age where they still want a lot of toys so I usually get them two toys an outfit and a book so I have pretty much all of it done it's just the girls that are proving a little bit tricky because Brooklyn's at that age too I asked her Brooklyn what do you want me to buy you for Christmas this year usually she's like last year she's like I want a weighted blanket a big weighted blanket and I want this and I want that and this year she's like I like Lego and I'm like okay <laughs> so we'll see so the Sam bought the girls something like a shrimp a special treat what do you think it is Gabby gingerbread houses, gingerbread houses. why do you think that because the shape of the bag and the it, I swear I saw through the bag. You saw through the bag? Okay, well After after I, I guessed, guessed it. it though. I'm like, is it gingerbread houses? Oh, it is gingerbread houses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah look, you can it's see not it right a there. gingerbread house. Let me see. I can't see. It's right. not a gingerbread house. Do you guys want gingerbread houses instead? Well, what is it? Do you want it instead? No, I want whatever's in there. I want whatever's in that too. Sometimes when Sam talks, all I hear is his mom. All right. <laughs> I got you guys, and you have to share with me. See, it's some food. Really. And your mom. What about your mom? mom? You can share with your mom too. Oh my it god, is a chocolate, a chocolate house. Chocolate house. Chocolate house. It's still gingerbread houses, technically. No, it's no gingerbread <laughs> in this thing. Yeah, which is good because I don't like gingerbread. That's the dog, I, the I horse is like gingerbread. That's why I never eat it. I only decorate it. House. You decorate it. And you the Adams, Adams family's house. So Adam, Adam's family house. Alright, okay, we'll, we'll see who's this better. You gave me a rough one to work with. What is it? Broken? A little bit. You oh, little I, didn't know. I didn't know. So here's my house. Just beautiful. There's some icicles. Here's the back side. And this side, I didn't do anything to. There it is. I'm going to start eating it now. Here's Gabby's. What happened to the door? Well, I put those on it like that. But then they fell, so then I just kind of took them off. Show the back. Yes, I know. I'm trying to. There's a door on the back. Okay. We're driving down for chores, you guys. Family drive down to the barn dogs following us for any of you guys who don't know about the domer laser this is what i've been doing at night with our horses every time uh we bring chino in i use it on him and i'm going to tell you guys why so this is our domer laser um i use it it's a laser it's a red light laser and I like to use it on him at night because you guys know we took his shoes off recently and we've been kind of like building them back up slowly so that he can go without shoes. At least we're trying it. So we're in the between stage. Our vet will be coming soon to assess him uh, to see how he's doing. So this week we're going to take Chino back to the barn and see how he's doing. The last lesson he seemed not his best self. So we're, we're, so he's had some supplemental treatments like chiropractor and stuff like that and i've also been using this domer laser on him and i'm going to show you guys how i work it 
Chino's just coming in now, but Sam's stacked up on hay. He's gonna go tomorrow and get more hay. Happy boy, are you ready for your nighttime treatment? So, Chino, you be looking chunky. Actually, he's almost perfect. He's almost perfect. He's ready for it. But basically, I use this red light treatment. You guys can see the red light. I use this treatment on him every single night. I go all over his bum, and I really work his muscles. You guys can see he's <laughs> bending into me. He loves it. Yeah. Anyway, I do this for about 20 minutes on each side every single night, and I really do feel like this could be the change for him that he needs, just like... He's had chiropractic. See how he just bent his whole bum down? He's like, yes, do that to me. Um, he's had massages. He's had, you name it, this boy has had it. And I feel like this is something that I can do at home with him. And it feels wonderful for him. And he loves it. Um, anyways, I know I've showed you guys this before. But I just wanted to remind you, if you want to... Uh, you can get your own domer laser red light therapy for at uh, your own barn for your own horses. And in fact, I know people who do this for other people. Like in our area, we can call somebody to do this for us and it's $50. So if you want to get your own red light domer laser, you can follow the link in our description box and get 10% off for Christmas. Chino's actually uh, getting a warmer blanket on tonight because it is freezing outside, like absolutely freezing. He's so shiny now. Yeah, he is so shiny. I wonder if his tail, we've made so many dietary changes, you guys. I wonder if his tail is going to thicken up again. I mean, it does kind of seem thicker. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys. To be honest, just seeing how much he loves it makes it worth it for me. These lasers are also really good for like injury. injuries on us and like acne and skin conditions. You can use it on yourself too. What do you think, Chino Bambino? You got your nice blue blanket back. It's time. I don't know if you like this. <laughs> Look at that little baby bum. <laughs> Look at all her hair. Look at how she just bends her body into it though. She's so cute. Watch for tomorrow's video. We're going to put our horse's blankets on blindfolded and see who wins. Sam will film it and all, well, I guess there's just two of us, three of us, I guess. And we'll all put our horse's blankets on blindfold tomorrow. I have to tell you guys one last thing. Something that you guys are going to not judge me badly about. You sure about that? I think you guys aren't going to judge me badly. You guys know how Sophie's terrified of the trail. And I want a trail ride, and Gabby's been trail riding with oh, her I friend. Trail riding. Yeah, we've all been trail riding. Well, because every time we've gone by ourselves, we got lost. Yeah, so I booked Sophie for some trail riding lessons. So she's gonna start this week. Yeah. She's gonna ride on a trail riding place at a trail riding lesson place for the next few weeks. Over the next few weeks, she's gonna stop riding with Gabby in lessons and she's going to take a different kind of lesson. She's going to do trail. She's going to do extreme trail. It's not just like jump on and walk around in the woods. You guys have been with us on trail riding videos. It's the fun kind of trail. It's the fun kind of trail. She's going to go all winter or at least half the winter the next few weeks and she's going to try it. And I'm hoping that she's going to build up confidence because those horses really, the Pasofinos really build up confidence in you. And she's gonna learn a whole different thing. Like we're ready. She's ready to do something different. She's like me. She gets bored and she wants to try something different. So I'm hoping she's gonna learn a whole bunch of more skill. She's gonna have uh, trail riding lessons. I hooked her up so that she can improve on the things that, so that she can get confidence in it, so that she can go on trail rides with us this summer and this spring. I hurt my finger. I don't know how. Are you excited though? Yeah. Yeah. I checked with her first before I hooked her up. I said, do you want to go? And she said, yeah, it's going to be just her. And she's going to probably have a couple of friends that'll go with her, but I'm not going to be going and Gabby's not going to be going. All right, we're done. We're done our nightly treatment. We're done feeding. Never eat yellow snow. <laughs> and some good advice from Sophie. No, she lemon takes flavored. <laughs> lemon flavored. Gabby's like, yeah, just eat it if you want lemon flavored. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just